Got another little shark on. Let's see if we can, I think it's a shark. Might not be as little. Let's see if we can get it to come up here. There it is. Whoa. I think this one's a little bigger. Oh, maybe about the same size. This is a sand shark. I think the other one's, oh, lost it. Hey guys, so I wanted to do kind of like a little minimal rod setup of just kind of talking about the rods only and I'll just get that real quick here. I'm going to show you guys the rods I'm using today and these rods are also the rods that I recommend for kind of the minimalist, like I said, of what you need for some Florida backwater. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got here. So here we have the Shimano Sedona series. This is kind of one of the cheaper that I would say series is and I'm going here from left to right in size order so this is the smallest let me see if I can see this is a 4000 all right that's a Shimano Sedona 4000 now there's really no such thing as a cheap Shimano but that's their their lowest end now this is the higher end Shimano here one of the big differences, you know, it's got better bearings, better materials, a little better fit and finish. One of the biggest things for me is this handle right here. I really like the power handle. Okay, you'll notice the rest of these all have some version of a power handle. This one's really the best. And then the lower end Shimano, the handle's just not really that comfortable in my opinion. Just not the, not the greatest handle, not my favorite. But what we have here is really just kind of the best of the best as far as best bang for your buck okay we go over here to the to the higher end these are kind of similar this is a 5000 okay this one th uh this guy right here is a 5000 this guy's a 4000 so you want to go four five six in my opinion and then this is the big uh huge bait runner it used to be the 6500 but now it's the 12000 d you know guys we, i've caught huge sharks you've seen the videos on that reel um I had a, a, a lost a huge tarpon on that reel, but it not this exact reel, but Captain John Hand, who ha, who ha, actually it is the exact reel. It's just this one's mine and that one was his. You got to have one of these big boys, guys. One of the coolest things is this is this bait uh, feature here, where it's got the the clicker where I just put that down and it allows it to free spool. Okay, I'm free spooling some bait right now. So what happens is this just goes. You know you got the fish on there, you're using a circle hook, okay? Live bait circle hook, live bait circle hook. I'm using this guy with the Spro bucktail, okay? Bucktail is gonna be probably your number one. A white bucktail, they didn't have them in white when I bought that, but a white bucktail is probably your number one Florida fishing lure that you can use all season. If you had to pick one thing, you could do anything with the white bucktail jig, okay? A three quarter ounce jig, you do anything with it. In closing, all right, this is Shimano, Shimano, big boy, shark, tarpon, you're not going to encounter anything that you can't handle. An experienced fisherman can't bring in in the you know in the inshore. You can do it. Maybe a big jewfish or something, but you know don't worry about that. This is really the biggest thing you need. This is the next size up from this guy. I just went with a pen fierce two just because I bought it off Amazon. The price was right, and I'm really a big Shimano guy. But I've had a great experience experience with this one it's been great so far so i got the little setup here wanted to show you guys that so here's the boat here's what we're running the sea hunt 22 as you guys already saw uh real brief talking about what we're doing fishing the rodan i'll show you guys up front right here is a trolling motor made in sarasota florida it's made a huge impact allows me it's gps controlled allows me to get all around i'm in very 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 shallow water here tide just went slack as you can see the boat spun around i'm in very shallow water and uh i can put this on anchor mode if i'm in a little deeper water i'll put it on anchor mode but i'm I, i'm i've been going around in a foot of water here okay you can see there's some activity back here i don't know if you guys can see that there's uh it's either some big fish swimming around back there possibly a manatee but beautiful day out here just wanted to give you guys another quick look at what we're doing and like i said follow bone outdoors if you haven't followed Bone Outdoors, if you want to see more of these videos, let me know. If you don't like them, then don't follow Bone Outdoors. So we just got a, we just got another little shark here. And let's see if we can get him on camera. There we go, cool little shark. So we pretty much got our shark spot figured out and how to catch them. One of the most important things you need on your, on your boat is a cast net. 
and I'm going to try and cast some bait here. You don't want to be reliant on having to buy bait every time you go out. So that's the reason you want to cast net. And I'll show you guys this one here. You just want to make sure when you check your cast net that you look and see what kind of size holes you have and how heavy it is. It's the first time I've ever thrown this net, but uh, here's a nice little mullet. This will be great shark bait. And uh, kind of just show you guys really quickly here. One of the, this mullet's a little big for snook or something like that, but you could definitely use it for shark bait. You can use it for tarpon. You can butterfly it and use it for tarpon. There's a lot of things you can use mullet for. And if you're a Florida boy, you've probably heard of broke neck mullet. You can definitely eat them, smoke them. They're good smoked. You break the neck, and take them out, and then smoke them. Just caught a nice little shark on a on a one of the lightest rods, the second to lightest rod that I talk about recommend bringing in. I'm gonna see if I can show you guys this shark. Obviously, it's a little dangerous bring a shark in the boat nice nice little shark here let me see if I can uh, get a better shot there for you guys there we go nice little shark gonna release him you know I'll butterfly a ladyfish throw it out on that big rod you've seen that with captain hand how we do that so check that out if you haven't seen it there's a bunch of fishing videos with captain hand up on the channel bone outdoors okay I'm gonna give you guys a, oh, looks like we got another one, guys. So, oh, just missed it. Jeez, nope, another shark, gotta go. All right, guys, sorry for the interruption, just caught another shark. Um, very similar to the first one. They must be, well, I'm in a little, I'm in a little bay cove right here, and they, these really were huge in, in helping that shark, some titan, getting that shark off and everything, some titanium pliers. Okay, wear those. You know, if I were to have to, I don't know, any any neat reason that I need a knife, I have that. And I also have the, the ghost knife, both of those on the boat. I'm, they're cheap enough where I can use them and get rid of them, not a problem. Let me go through a little bit uh, of some more. We've got the, the body tips for the jig heads. I recommend white, okay? Recommend white five inch swim tail. All right, we've got DOA shrimp. I've got Yozuri, and uh, these new live-action lures are supposed to be amazing. Okay, this is the this is the white swim bait tail that I recommend for the jig. You put this on the jig. There's the jig heads. Okay, these are the live-action live target. I'm sorry, live target lures that, it, that everybody's going crazy about. Okay, so it's basically kind of like a jig. You work it like a jig, you can, uh, but it's already ready to go out of the pack. You don't have to do anything to it. Very expensive, but people are going crazy for them. Um, I've got fluorocarbon leader in here, but monofilament leader's better, okay, and cheaper. So they've done a lot of abrasion testing and stuff, and you don't need to get fluorocarbon. It's, it's, a, it's a gimmick, and I fell for it. Actually, I just, this is, you know, that's what they had that, that I liked uh, in color and, and size and stuff. It's just what I picked up, but it's better to get mono filament, a mono filament leader. Okay, circle hooks. You guys saw I, I, I got two sharks on the line just now. I was using circle hooks on both. I always put circle hooks on my live bait because it'll hook up. Both sharks got hooked in the corner of the mouth, brought them both in, landed them, no problem with, with, with leader, okay? with a 60 pound leader, I think. So no problems. And swivels, uh, you know, some, some, some bobbers, stuff like that. But that's basically the gist. That's, that's really all you need, guys. And, and let me say this, you don't need to have a big, you know, fancy boat like this. You don't need a 20 foot boat. You don't need a, uh, anything even similar to this. You, my recommendation if you're just starting out get a ginu okay it's a canoe with a flat back you can put a little five horsepower motor on there and you can do all this stuff you can go do all the stuff i'm doing right now you can go do a lot of fishing get out there and get it it's it's fun it's a great time um it's a good thing to teach your kids you know show them if you eat fish show them where the food comes from all that kind of thing so you know if you guys want to see more kind of tackle what you can catch all that kind of stuff let me know, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll jump on with you and, and show you and teach you everything I can. Uh, if you guys like, like this kind of video, 
give me some rec let me know that you like it like it share it with your friends comment below tell me you like it but also give me some recommendations of what you want to see more of so i can get that done for you all right thank you appreciate it bone out See if you can get close to the water. Okay.